Hey you guys, I am super excited because I have finally finished inking Cicada Summer. I have two pages left to scan and I need to letter everything all over again. But otherwise, besides submission, I'm pretty much done. And I know you guys have seen me work on some of these pages, like page one here. And I've checked in with you guys a few times, sometimes just to gripe. I can't believe it took me until like page nine to remember my preferred work process. Like anytime I'm working on a tight deadline, it's like I lose my mind and I just completely forget what works for me. And I do all of the things that make me hate drawing comics instead of handling my comics in a way that is enjoyable. Um, but that only really tends to be true for like self, um, so, so not for freelance, so stuff for myself or stuff for contests. Um, and it only seems to be true if I hit like that panic mode. And with Cicada Summer, because I had so much life garbage happening right before, I hit that, it was very easy for me to hit that panic mode. But it's finished for the most part, and I'm excited about it. Mostly because it took me so, it's so much work. And um, it's the first black and white, not black and white ink wash, not watercolor, but the first black and white exclusively comic I've done since I graduated with my master's from SCAD. So it's been a, no wait, I keep forgetting How to Meet a Martian. How to Meet a Martian though was so low stress because I was generating that for a workshop at the library. I don't think I've even, outside of the workshop kids, I don't think I've even shown anybody. It's just not available anywhere because it was just like a little demonstration piece. It wasn't anything, uh, that I was pitching or really even using for my portfolio. But this is super important to me because I am pitching it and it is gonna go in my portfolio and I'm probably also going to practice my digital comic coloring on a couple of these pages. So I have that in my portfolio as well because that's something I haven't done. I've done a lot of digital coloring, I've done a lot of digital illustration, but I haven't done um, a comic page digitally. Like this would be a really good image for that. This whole page would actually be a really good image for that. But as you guys can see, these pages are incredibly dense. Every single panel is full of people, full of action, full of things going on. Um, that was definitely, I should have, I should have cut some of the cousins. That's all there is to it. I shouldn't have done so many of them. Um, especially cause like <laughs> none of them noticed that they're in these pages, which is making me feel awesome. Uh, <laughs> So they wouldn't have noticed that they're not there, right? So here are the two final pages. This would also be a really, maybe I should just do the whole thing with some color over it. But here are the final two pages. And um, you know, I stressed out so much during the project because I was, I was trying to read the minds of people I have never met, people I don't know at all. I was trying to create something that I thought editors for a particular company would like. And I guess, about around page five, because um, I was I was drawing my dad a lot, and my dad passed away several years ago from lung cancer, and um, drawing dad so much almost made it like he's still here. I guess somewhere around page five, I was finally like, you know what, I'm gonna do this for dad. I'm not going to, I mean, of course this is for a pitch, for a company, but I am tired of trying to read Stranger's Minds. I am going to do this for dad. So that really helped out a lot because um, the truth of the matter is I have um, sort of soft pitch things before as a SCAG kid. You do editor's day so I did like three editor's day and um, you also do comic art forums so you do actually pitch to other professionals pretty frequently and um, even when it seemed like they liked something, it never ever turned into anything. I've had my my short career has been just full of um, people getting really really excited and then never responding to me again. So my my comic career is full of first dates, and I know I'm still really comparatively young, but I get really uh, anxious, I guess, frustrated when I see people even younger than me hitting it out of the park on their first go. And I know that's not the norm, but things like Twitter and Tumblr sort of make it seem 
more normal than it is. So you get a lot of that. Um, people retweeting that, re people reblogging that, because they only really seem to take notice of what you're doing after you've already, you don't need their help anymore, after you've made it. When you need the help, you're invisible. Um, and that's just, I think, how human nature works. Like, we kind of need to be told what we enjoy and what is good for crowd validation. So it's been... It's been an interesting, what, almost five years since I graduated. Uh, and um, I would really like some more stability. That sort of interesting is not my favorite thing. So I'm going to actually up my trying new things, trying new opportunities shtick and cut down on the number of cons I attend um, because those are killing me. So you're going to see more comic stuff from me and far less convention stuff from me. So those of you who are here from How to Be a Con Artist, I hope you're here for comics and not for convention stuff. But anyway, um, I just kind of wanted to check in with you guys. Um, do, what do they call them? Like Kind of like a, um, a post-mortem if it was like a thesis. And show you guys all of the black and white pages. My Patreon backers are going to have access to everything. Um, all of the materials, including like thumbnails, roughs, the script. So if you're interested in learning how I make comics, you can join my Patreon community for like $2 a month and have access to that. So thank you guys so much for looking at my Cicada Summer pages. Um, if you enjoy my comic art, I highly recommend you check out my webcomic, 7-Inch Kara, at 7-Inch Kara, and it's 7, um, the quotation, no, wait, no, it's not, that's just how I do the cover. It's 7-I-N-C-H-K-A-R-A dot Tumblr dot com, or 7-Inch Kara dot com, whichever one you're more comfortable with, still trying to hit those 100 followers, so if you like my art, I would love it if you join me, and following my Tumblr means that you get updates on your dash, so you don't have to go anywhere. It just automatically sends you comic updates as they happen. So that is a handy way to uh, get, get involved with my comics and enjoy them. And if you like them, please do let me know. I don't get a whole lot of positive feedback. I hear a whole lot of crickets. So it would help me out, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys started talking to me more. Um, I feel like I'm presenting to nothing all the time. So if you enjoy my work, letting me know you enjoy my work is one of the best ways to ensure that I will continue to make comics, I will continue to make tutorials, I'll continue to make YouTube videos, and I will continue the blog. Because uh, i got to admit, I'm getting pretty burnt out. And I had a beast of a time finding, um, finding guest posts to help fill the block on my blog. I got a whole lot of people who are interested and then never followed up, which is just like the bane of my life and uh, something I really, <laughs> really hate. So, um, but I have managed to find some and I do pay for my guest posts. Um, I think I'm one of the very, very, very few niche hobby blogs that do. So, if you are interested in comics and comic craft, comic art, uh, markers, watercolor, all those things, seriously, head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com and I have like eight years, eight years of archive for you to enjoy, including um, the three years, three, two and a half years that I was getting my master's at SCAD. So, if you're interested in art school, reading my blog is... Um, I would say recommended reading because I was very honest during that time and it will help give you a really good idea. I talk about my the critiques I got, I show the pieces I worked on, um, it was a record of my time there. So if you're interested in applying for an art school, that might be a great place to start at nattosoup.blogspot.com. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope to see you again really soon. Bye!